not in my usual location. I am in, uh, I don't know, really, hmm. I'm assuming I'm gonna do an intro for this video. Jumping in from the future to say, I'm not doing another intro, this is it. Um, you get what you're given, and this is the first of many moving vlogs, little series, I don't know. Anyway, continue on with the rest of the video. So I probably don't need to make a big deal out of it, but I bought an apartment, um, which was, I guess, my lockdown achievement. Um, all of this was through lockdown. I was looking, is this my intro? <laughs> I was looking um, all throughout the first lockdown. I was going to open homes and stuff. And then this was the last place that I saw right before they said no more open homes so i was very lucky and then all of the like legal purchasing things all happened in strict lockdown so having to like print contracts to sign and all that sort of stuff was very difficult when i wasn't anywhere that had a printer and i wasn't really allowed to go anywhere that had a printer um but i'm here i am waiting for deliveries today which is exciting it's my first lot of furniture deliveries to the new place I the place that I have been renting we rented furnished because I only moved to Melbourne you know a little over a year ago um, I didn't have any furniture so we rented a furnished place and so now I've bought a place I also need to furnish the entire place so um, I'm going to be here basically every day this week accepting deliveries and then on Friday we will be fully in the new place and moved in because that's the day the internet changes over to this place. You can't live somewhere without internet. My current flatmate is moving with me. It's a two bedroom apartment so um, she's coming with me which is really really cool. I always thought like I would want nothing more than to live alone, but um, I think lockdown has taught me that I would not fare well without somebody to talk to every day. Um, so I thought I would give you a little empty apartment tour and just kind of, I don't know, show you some things as they get delivered and yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is a little bit different, isn't it? It's not, not a makeup video. Okay, this is my front door. So you come in the front door and we have the kitchen right here. So pretty good. And then you turn around and so from the front door you have the whole living space. So I think right here I'm going to put an Ikea um, kitchen island so that it kind of extends the kitchen and gives me another workspace as well as kind of a dining space or just a seating so that if you know I had friends over and I was cooking they would have somewhere to sit and talk to me so I'm very excited for that so that'll kind of extend out here then obviously this is the living so we'll have couch tv armchair balcony then the, I guess the master bedroom, which will be my bedroom. Excuse my little setup. I am working from home here today while I wait for deliveries. So this is it. It is not giant, but it is the larger of the two rooms and it's got the balcony as well. And wardrobes here. A little, hey, what's up? Hello. So this is it. Um, very excited for the furniture setup that I have planned, but I will just show you that once I get it. And then across the living area, you have the second bedroom, which I originally was going to take because I quite like that there's a little bit of architectural interest. Um, but I think that the other bedroom will fit the furniture I have planned better. So... This will be my flatmate's room. This one has the larger wardrobe. So which is why I wanted to take it because I have a lot more stuff than my flatmate. Um, but I'm going to have a chest of drawers and I can fit that in the other bedroom better than I can fit it in this bedroom. And then over here is the bathroom. 
So this is the bathroom. It basically looks like a bathroom. And that's my shower. And then behind the bathroom door is the space for the laundry. So that's why the um, other bedroom has a smaller wardrobe because this cuts into the space for it. But that is fine. And that's the little empty apartment tour. So I'll show you from this angle too. Isn't it cute? Love it. Absolutely cannot get over the fact that I am grown up enough to have my very own fridge. I'm buzzing. Uh, I get to have a bottom mount freezer, which is far superior. I was very limited in what would be able to fit in the space because everything kind of that was bigger protruded out more, um, which this doesn't very much. And it's beautiful. I have my very own fridge. I'm such an adult. Blow my mind. To look at all of that freezer space. Ugh, I can't wait to fill it up with stuff. And then, not only am I grown up enough to have my own fridge, but I am grown up enough to have my own washer dryer. Like, how much of an adult am I? And then I need to get a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew a screw at the back so that I can pull this hose longer and put it into here. And the man said it's very easy. But like, I'm such an adult. I can't get over it. I'm the biggest adult there ever was. The biggest adult who ever existed. I'm sorry, I took all the plastic off the front of the fridge before I started filming. That would have been a real satisfying shot, so. Oh, I was too excited to be an adult. I'm so happy I just went and I got my lunch from the cafe that's just on the corner and they were so nice he asked me like what I'm up to today and obviously I'm gonna tell anybody that will listen that I just bought my first apartment and I'm getting all these things delivered and I just got my first ever fridge and my first ever washing machine and I'm a grown-up and I like said all this to them and they were like so happy for me they were giving me all of the good like local recommendations they all introduced themselves and they were calling me by my name which is like I love it when like customer service hospitality people do that and like they were just so nice and I'm so happy and I had a really good sandwich from there and I just wanted to gush a little bit about how happy I am to be here and it's like now that, I mean, obviously I only have three pieces of furniture and two of those are whiteware, but now that stuff's coming in, it just feels even better and more exciting and I'm so excited to make this place home. I tried to order some stuff on Ikea today, um, an armchair, chest of drawers, Alex drawers, and they won't be delivered until the 19th of November. That's over a month away. It's like six weeks away. Um, so I'm just going to wait to get those because I think that retail will open up 
again before the 19th of November and then either delivery will be quicker because it won't be coming from Tasmania or I can figure out a way to pick it up. So I'll have to wait a little bit longer to get like a chest of drawers and stuff, which will make unpacking annoying because I'll be like living out of a suitcase kind of, or like just with my stuff all over the floor. I mean, obviously I have a wardrobe. I can hang up a bunch of stuff, but all of the folded things, I won't have anywhere to put them for a while. But I ordered my bed, which I had been putting off until I saw the mattress in the space because I've ordered a four poster bed, which I'm so excited about I've wanted one since I was a little kid and I was never allowed one so now that I'm an adult and I got my own place I'm like I'm getting a four poster bed I don't care if it's like impractically large for the space I don't care I'm getting it so anyway I just wanted to see the mattress in the space first before I ordered it um same with like chest of drawers and stuff just to make sure I wasn't ordering too much or anything too big or anything like that so I ordered that today that should come within a week I ordered my bedside tables. They should come within a week. Um, and then I've got a couple of things already on their way. But I won't be able to get my armchair, which I was going to get from Ikea, which I'm really excited about, that I won't be able to get until retail opens up again. Um, but I'm so excited. It's like, even though there's all I have is a mattress, a fridge, and a washing machine, I feel like it's like coming together already. And I'm so happy to be here. And everybody says that, like, this part of town is so good and that I'll like it so much better than where I was living. And I loved where I was living. So that is, like, a big call. But everybody says it. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. Somebody tell me who is this grown-ass woman with a 49-inch TV. I've never owned a TV at all, ever, let alone fucking 49 inches. It's huge! Okay, well I'm gonna <laughs> unpack it. I don't know how to set up a TV either. Um, I'll figure it out, because I'm an adult. I'm a woman. screwdriver in order to attach the base to the TV and I'm wondering because I have one at my flat that I haven't moved out of yet so I could either just leave it for another day until I come back maybe tomorrow or the next day or I could go down to the cafe on the corner and ask if they have a screwdriver I can use and I feel like that's a good option but it's also like effort and kind of awkward. I mean, it's not awkward. They were so nice. I'm sure they'd be happy to help. And then it's effort. I should do it, shouldn't I? I guess I'll do it. They were closed. It's only 2.15. I mean, good for them. But... That means I can't put the base on and I'm wondering if I should bother taking anything off yet because I don't want to like just leave it lying. I mean, it will be lying on the ground, but like, it's not like I can stand it up, you know? But I want the excitement of like plugging it all in and stuff. It's so big. Hmm. But no, I should just leave it. In which case, that was the last delivery I was waiting for today, so I can go back to the other flat now. Um, I do have a delivery that was unable to be delivered here, so I have to go pick that up from the post office, which actually gives me a good opportunity to like explore a little bit of the area. It's just around the corner. 
Um, but I think that's it for today. I really can't be bothered taking out all this rubbish though, these giant boxes. But it's got to be done. So I guess I'll do that and then head back. So that's it for today. See ya. I don't know if I'm going to make this just like its own video or I suppose more exciting stuff will happen to add into this video. This may or may not be the end of the video. Alright, see ya, bye. <laughs>